Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Uh, hope you're all doing well out there guys. Um, I just wanted to stay here for a couple of minutes. I wasn't actually going to do a video on this situation, but um, after thinking about it over the last couple of days, I thought, you know something, I could actually share my experience and maybe uh, encourage other men to do something about it if it happens to them. Maybe women as well, but Guys, as you all know, the last few days I, I posted on social media um, about not being able to do the podcast on Thursday and also haven't been on YouTube and I was also taken to hospital last Wednesday. It's very uncomfortable sitting in this chair, by the way. Um, yeah, guys, so I just thought I'd sit down here for a couple of minutes and explain to you what's going on. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody over the last few days who sent me flipped me hundreds of messages wishing me wishing me well who asking if I'm okay and what is going on with me so I just thought I'd sit down here and today and do a wee quick video with you now if you do see me moving about quite a bit I do apologize it's just it's very uncomfortable sitting on the chair here at the minute um and excuse the the way I'm dressed today I've just had a a day at the house today where I just had a shower and I just sat and rested today because I'm exhausted and I'm sore and I just wanted to have a day here where I just sort of switched off from the world. But anyway, yes, cut a long story short. Um, last Tuesday night, guys, I, um, before I do go any further, I hope this story encourages more men to do something about it if it ever happens to them. Um, went to football on Tuesday night with Lewis. It was absolutely grand. Went to football and done the interviews that I always do at the ground Tuesday nights. Uh, went to football with Lewis, went to the training session. It was a great night with the lads. Came home, had a cup of tea, put out the, the interviews online and then I went to bed as normal. Um, so we're at about 5.15, maybe 5.30 uh, on Wednesday morning, I just got this excruciating pain. Like, I mean, I've had some excruciating pains in my time. I mean, I've broken bones, I've had bad toothaches, I've injured my neck before when I was doing my wrestling days. I've, oh, I've been hurt at wrestling, I've been hurt in football, I've had knee injuries and all, but this pain was just unbelievable. It felt like your man Rambo in the Rambo movies and they had big knife he carries the one with the big blade that goes like that and it's like oh so sore i woke up guys and if you're easily offended by things like this then obviously you can switch off now but i just wanted to be honest because i wanted to share this message to other men especially um i felt this excruciating pain up inside my backside my bum my ass whatever you want to call it so excruciating that I, again i felt like rambo had just come in with his knife and just literally went and was tearing me to shreds it made me fall out of bed. I couldn't sit down, so I had to stand. The pain was just excruciatingly so bad. I mean, like I felt like my it was just a sharp razor just ripping and turn my insides, and oh, it was horrible, horrible feeling. So I got up, and I thought, right, I'm gonna get, I want to look at this. So I went into the bathroom and took a look, and guys, what I found was extremely scary um, because of what has happened to people who I've known recently who this has happened to. Um, I found a lump um, just on the outside of my back passage hole, whatever you want to call it, about that size, literally, about the size of a mini golf ball. And to say that I was scared as an understatement, pretty much, I'm not trying to be funny, but it literally scared the shit out of me. It was so sore, it was horrific. And this is around about 5 30, quarter, quarter to six in the morning. I'm standing in my bathroom, not knowing what to think, where to go, what to turn, where, what do you do? Do you, do you call someone? What happens? What do you do here? So I went to come downstairs, made myself a coffee, stood in the kitchen, had a good think what I was going to do. Then I had obviously get the kids up for school at seven. 
And at this point, guys, I still, sorry, couldn't sit down. Um, <sighs> I'm just about to sit down now. Um, so yeah, then I got the kids off the school and I was pacing the floors all afternoon, completely up till about maybe one or two in the afternoon. Sorry, in the background, that's my my uh, smartwatch vibrating. Um, yeah, I, I just got to the point where I just had to call someone, so I called Dad. And Dad then, not asked me, he told me to go to the hospital. But me being a big stubborn, you know what, I decided against it. So I phoned the doctor surgery, spoke to someone there. They referred me to speak to the Arch Hospital, so I spoke to the Arch Hospital. Explained to the person on the phone who were unbelievable on the phone. They were fantastic over the phone. And then they referred me to go straight, no hesitations, no questions asked, straight to the Ulster Hospital for emergency checks and tests. So you can just imagine at that stage, guys, what was going through my mind at the time. I was literally crapping my pants, worried what the hell was going to happen. I had friends recently who have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Uh, people who I've known recently who have passed away with things like that and it's just all these things are going through my mind what if it's the worst what if it's the what am I going to do with myself the kids you know everything else what do you do so I got dad to take me into the Ulster hospital sorry where I sat for about seven or eight hours so I finally went in have bloods done tests done scans done you name it, I had done. Now guys, here's the thing. When men come to 40 years of age, they're recommended to go for a prostate exam to get checked for you know prostate cancer and things like that there. Now all you all know I'm 41 now and I was gonna go for it after I turned 40, but I either forgot all about it or I just didn't wanna go. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm just gonna tell this is the message I wanna send it to men out there right now. If you're at the age of 40 or you feel any kind of discomfort, please, please go and see your GP or go and book an appointment or go and do something because to be honest with you, it's happening too often these days and a lot of men, including myself, who were really stubborn and old school, thinking, ah, I'll be fine, you know, how the hell that? Ugh, I'm all right, I'm fine, I'm only 40, I'm young still. Nah. No, I'm being serious, guys, you need to get your ass to the doctor. Don't be ashamed. You know, because I see people all the time, you know, you hear all these stories, and even people who I've known, you know, even find lumps and bumps, even women. You know, women who find lumps in their breasts, lumps under their arms, you know, all these different things you find uh, turns out to be the worst. So I'm just saying to you and I, please, please, if you see anything suspicious or uncomfortable, please go and get it checked because honestly, it could save your life. And that's the whole point of this video today, why I'm sharing my story with you to try and get you out there too. You know, don't be afraid. Get out there and get yourself checked because honestly, it could save your life. But back to what happened to me. When I got to the hospital, I was like, you know, sitting here. I was, sorry, I wasn't even sitting, I was standing. And at this stage, it was like nine o'clock at night and I've been on my feet since quarter past five in the morning. Couldn't sit down once. And that's not a lie, guys. I could not sit down on my backside. And at this stage, I was on my feet 14 hours, maybe. And I was exhausted. My legs were sore. My feet were sore. The only time I tried to remotely sit down was when I was in Dad's car. I couldn't even sit. I had to, like, literally lie on my dad. I'll tell you. I had to lie on my side. I couldn't even sit on my backside. It was that sore. So I got to the hospital. Oh, done all the tests. And then other doctors came in. And they were looking as well. So they asked me, did I want to do a prostate exam? And I thought, you know something, screw it. I'll get it done. I'll get checked. They done it. But what made it even worse though, guys, was because the lump was right there as well. And that made the pain even worse. I don't know if you're still watching this video, you're thinking, why are you sharing these details? I'm trying to get this message out to men to get checked. So after all the tests and the blood tests and hanging around for hours and all the scans and X, Y, and Z, they come back and said that they they think that it's not the worst, but they need to keep an eye on it because, you know, the first thing I was thinking, well, is it is it hemorrhoids? Is it a pies? Is it the worst case scenario? Is it a cancer lump? What the hell is going on with me? You know, I don't want to end up having to, like, you know, being so young and, you know, 
I'm not the healthiest person in the world, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's all these things that go on in your, in your head while you're sitting there, or sorry, standing there in that hospital thinking, you know, speaking to a couple of people as well, and I met this, these are people that sort of are in my age group and all next, I met people who are new up there as well, were up with like, you know, grandkids and things like that, and they were, they were trying to encourage me to stay positive, because guys, to be honest with you, I was sitting in that hospital, pretty much shit in my pants, scared to death of what the worst case scenario, especially when they bring in, nine times out of ten of a doctor, if something goes, Oh no, that's just a such and such here. There's a tablet or a bit of cream or whatever. You know, you'll be fine. But the fact that they kept me going and waiting and doing more tests and then they finally brought me in and they took me out and then they brought me in and they took me out. All these different thoughts are going through my head and I'm, I'm actually starting to get worried. So finally, they, they came to the conclusion that at the moment right now, it's not the worst case scenario. They've given me stuff to treat it. They've given me stuff to, you know, ease the pain. Hopefully in the next week or so, it'll start to decrease and disappear. And if not, then they're going to send me for, and I, I, I try to pronounce this word, it's annoying me, colonoscopy. Hope I've got that right. Where I have to get the camera basically inside the check. But they said my colon's fine, my prostate's fine, for what they can see, and faded and everything else. So let's just say, guys, it was a scur. And the doctor told me I was in the right, I was right, sorry, to come to the hospital. Because there's a lot of men out there who don't, even women, that don't come, they just sort of suck it up and go, ah, I'll be away in a couple of days and we'll be fine, don't worry about it. And then the next minute something from that turns into something worse or even it could be worse right from the start. So that's why I wanted to share this message with you for, for men and women out there. You know, anyone, if you find anything in suspicious, please, please go and get it checked. You know, I've always been brought up to be that, that I'm a type of old school person where I don't speak about certain things and whatever else. And I think, ah, I'll be fine, you know, and, you know, even in my last relationship with, with Sandra, she kept saying, you know, go and get checked for this and go and do this. And, and I'm just, I'm just being a stubborn big shit and I'm going, nah, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll be sweet. But guys, that really woke me up. My, my current situation is I'm still in, in a bit of pain. It's being treated every day. I'm on medication for it as well. I was hope it's starting to ease the pain a little bit. Now that this is being filmed on Saturday last night, um, I asked dad, and you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell are you going out last night for? I needed to get out of the house. I was in the house for so many days. I went to football last night. Now, the majority of the time, I didn't do nothing. I was just watching the game. I did manage to do a little bit for the club last night, but I was just I was just happy to be out of the house. I wasn't a lot of pain. And I want to thank everybody who came up to me, like people who watch my videos, players, staff, you know, coming up and asking was okay. And I just took it really easy last night because I promised dad I would take him to a game. Our, his first ever welders game at the new stadium which I got a little bit of footage of him up there as well which I want to show you in a couple of days but I just wanted to get out of the house guys the doctor did say lying about the house is going to be an awkward thing you need to try and be as normal as possible because sitting about you know will make you think we're worst again you'll get all these different thoughts going through your head and stuff so I just thought right okay I'll just but today I got up this morning I had a shower I had my breakfast and I've literally stayed at home today in the dressing gown my famous, uh, in the mirror household here, my uh, cookie monster tracksuit, tracksuit bottoms, pajama bottoms. Um, you've seen a lot of people wearing them, I've had these for a couple of years. You've seen people wearing them before, the likes of Sandra and Brooke and me, and they're so comfortable. But anyway, yes, that's what I've been doing today, I've been resting, so. But again, guys, in all, all seriousness, you know, it's a so bloody source on my seat. Um, all men, especially, if you find anything, no matter what it is, it may not be anything serious, please get it checked. Go to the doctor, speak to someone, speak to the doctor and just say, listen, you know, I was embarrassed up the other night, you know, I was cracking jokes with the, <laughs> with the nurse, you know, saying like, oh, it's such an unexpected meeting you here and all, and for the first time ever and all, and I was winding up and all saying, we're going to go on a date, and all, what a lovely way to meet, and all with her seeing my backside and stuff, just, just trying to, take my mind off things, you know, and trying to be my normal self. But really what was going on in my mind was thinking, oh geez, is this going to be the worst? Am I going to get bad news here from these scans? Am I going to get bad news for this? Are they, they going to keep me in? Whatever. I was just trying to crack jokes, you know, and trying to keep positive. But 99% of the time I was literally crapping my pants. So all seriousness, men out there, if you find anything, or even women, you find a lump or a bump somewhere for all of, whatever amount of time it takes to go and see a GP or a doctor or, or a nurse or a hospital, 
get it checked because there's people out there now who the, the, the technology now in hospitals and the, the, the science now to help people and heal people is just phenomenal now and it's it was scary it was it was scary you know all them thoughts went through my mind especially thinking about Brigham Lewis and all the people I really care about what if it was the worst but obviously I was lucky I am in a lot of pain but if it had been the worst could I have dealt with it what way my mindset would have been but honestly guys it's just I consider myself lucky and I'm hoping this next week or two I'm starting to get myself back on my feet again and trying to um, get over this and move on so honestly anybody there finds anything or feels anything or doesn't feel right go and see a doctor or go and see someone and get looked at because it might save your life I was one of the lucky ones so far you know and I'm hoping over the next week or two that I sort of get the all clear and everything's fine and the doctor says that everything's going good and everything's starting to clear up now so please please get it checked that's why I wanted to share this story with you today guys and before I go I just want to obviously thank you for all your support um, the amount of messages I've received the last couple of days has been phenomenal absolutely phenomenal ask me if I'm okay what's up with me what happened you know just worrying messages it's just I'll try to reply to some of you so far. I'll try and get back to most days, but it's been it's been heartwarming. So thank you. I appreciate it, I really do. Um I'm gonna make another video guys as well tomorrow after this one. Um after I got home. Uh I got more bad news. Unfortunately, a very, 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 very good friend of mine and a very well popular known man across Northern Ireland passed away on Friday. And I want to do a wee special video on him because of there's a lot of reasons I'll explain to you in the next video, guys. It's just, it's been one hell of a shitty week. And the odd things that's been going on as well recently, it's just been one of those shitty weeks where I'd rather forget, but I can't. So I'll be doing another video tomorrow on him as well. And uh, I'll be doing another vlog tomorrow as well where I'll be showing you how to the dad the best that I could, guys, because I couldn't really walk as hard as I could. So, but in closing, thank you. I appreciate it. And again, please, anything at all, just get a check, guys. It's worth it for all the five minutes it takes to speak to a doctor. Do it. Men and women. So... Guys, once again, thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. I love you all. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'm one of the lucky ones. <sighs> it's just been a scary few days. I can't even speak. <laughs> Trying to get too emotional about it, but I was, I was getting very emotional the other night in the hospital about it. But, okay, guys. Um, thanks for your support again. I appreciate it. Until the next one, guys. See you all soon.